Hey, what's up, everybody? Eric Prime here at Ask Eric Prime. Hanging out in the islands. Let's say we go make a friggin' sub. So today, we are going to be making a Creole Italian sub. A little bit different than we would at home in Jersey, but since we're down here hanging out in this beautiful spot, I figured we treat you something different today. We're going to start off with some nice fresh baked bread right from the bakery. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Malone Brothers that we use back at home at Prime. We've got a nice crunch on the outside. soft in the middle as you can see nice little crust there all right nice looking roll so we got our ingredients today once again we got some black pepper sea salt oregano and we have this great local creole sauce lettuce and tomato and then we got a provolone cheese ham and Genoa salami today. All right, so we're gonna start off with a generous portion of this nice spicy Creole sauce. We can put a little on the bottom too. A little bit more here. All right. Spread this around. Get some nice flavor throughout. All right. Next, we're gonna start off base layer. Nice thin sliced provolone cheese. And uh, there never can be enough cheese. So we're gonna be we're gonna be generous here today. Make a nice little double layer. And that's gonna create our base. Create that base on that sandwich. Now we're gonna go into the meat. We're gonna take our Genoa salami. Nice generous amount of meat. Is that prime? We make a thick sandwich. So you can never have the meat is crucial here. I want to make this nice, all right? Now we're going to go into our ham. Nice local fresh ham. Make some nice folds in it. Create that depth. Give that perception that this sandwich has four pounds of meat on it. Like a like a big old healthy steak. But instead we're gonna do it with cold cuts. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going. This is a this is a big sandwich here. This is about almost a two-footer. So this 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 needs a lot of meat. All right, we got one last piece over here. All right, so now we have our ham. And this is this is the base of a nice sandwich. You got your ham, you got your Genoa, you got your provolone, good Creole sauce down. We're gonna come in with some seasonings. Nice, fresh black pepper. And then gonna come back with some sea salt. Every good sandwich has nice seasonings to it. Now we're gonna come in with the oregano. A little bit of that Italian flair. All right. I always like to put the tomato on top of the meat. Keep, keep the bread a little dry. Now here we go. 
nice local tomatoes here down in the islands. I'm going to come back with our leaf lettuce. Gives it that nice little crunch. And just finish this up. Ah, look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, generally, I'd be putting some virgin olive oil and some red wine vinegar today, but being that we're down in the down in the islands, I figured, ah, eh, we'll go without that. We'll just go with the nice Creole sauce on it, give it that little extra spice. We couldn't get the Capricole meat, so instead, we're going with the Creole. Now, cut this bad boy open. Let me show you a nice piece of this Creole sandwich here. Look at that. Nice crusty bread, layers of meat. What could be better than sitting in front of this beautiful, beautiful water here, having a nice Creole sandwich.